we are live and it's March 15th, halfway through this month. Oh my goodness. Hope we're having the best month of our lives. It's great to be with you. We'll give everybody just a couple of moments to jump in. We're running a couple minutes late this morning, getting everything all set up. So thank you for your patience. This is a special morning because we're going to take on a scroll, which we need to incorporate on a frequent basis. It's entitled, I will laugh at the world. <laughs> and we are most comical when we can't laugh at ourselves. So we'll have some fun here. Everybody join us. <clears throat> Just think about what's going on in your life right now for a few moments. I'll, I'll give you some prompts. Take relationships. How are things going in the relationship? Uh, in terms of your current finances, how are things going? Hmm. In terms of your current business, how are things going? How are you holding up emotionally on all of this? I don't want to dismiss the seriousness of any of these things, but all it gives us an incredible statement in this scroll. I will laugh at the world. And keep in mind, we've now learned that love is the most important principle, agape love, stepping into someone's world, really listening and showing up for them and for ourselves. Love thy neighbor as thyself. We know that we want to persist until we succeed. We just keep pressing forward. Small deeds repeated can accomplish any task. It's really the summary of that, of that scroll. Scroll four, I'm nature's greatest miracle, and I'm here for a purpose. And that purpose is to grow into a mountain, not to shrink to a grain of sand. And I do so by embracing my uniqueness, not wanting someone else's gifting, choosing my own, my own circumstances, my own gifts, and making the most I can with them, creating the most I can with them. And scroll five, I'll do that by living each day as if it is my last. I'm going to make sure that I don't let one drop spill upon the sand. I'm not going to spend a moment mourning yesterday's defeats, yesterday's aches of the heart, nor am I going to torment myself over things that may never come to pass. And then I'm going to be the master of my emotions. Weak is he who allows his thoughts to control his actions, Strong is he who forces his actions to control his thoughts. Yes, I can control my emotions. I may wake up in all kinds of different moods, but I can become aware of where I am and feed my mind and thoughts something more, may I use the word positive, productive, constructive, get inspired ideas and get back in the game. That is a choice. And when I start to show up this way, I'm going to notice that other people aren't. And what's exciting is I'll give them allowances for they don't know the secret of controlling their mind. Today, they, they won't buy a chariot for a penny, a gold chariot. But tomorrow, they'll exchange their house for a tree. <laughs> Just making a point that people shift from day to day to day. But I'm going to become aware because unlike plants and trees that depend on the weather, I make my own weather. Which brings us now to scroll seven, where Og says there are going to be things happening that are just crazy. And this is one of the statements. I love this. How can I laugh? When confronted with man or deed which offends me, you can say so deeply. But this is the way Og said it. So to bring forth my tears or my curses, can you feel that? Four words, I will train myself to say until they become a habit so strong that immediately they will appear in my mind. Immediately in my mind, whenever good humor threatens to depart from me. These words passed down from the ancients will carry me through every adversity and maintain my life in balance. These four words are, this too shall pass. We've all been through a little bit of life. Mm -hmm. And we do know that over time, things do pass. I look back at those 10 years paying back that million dollars in debt because I was the co-signer on all those corporate lines. Oh. 
There were times when it just seemed like forever, an hour, 24 hours, seven of those in a row, four weeks in a month, times 12 months, times 10 years. It was, it was an amazing thing when you look at it retrospectively, but it did pass. It didn't take away all the challenges in life that never does, but that trauma passed. And then there was an opportunity for growth and then an opportunity, excuse me one moment. Hmm. One of those morning hairs in my eye. Hmm. That passes. Then we have another situation, another situation. There's always something coming, but they always pass. Just look back at your life. Oh my goodness, yeah, it did. Did I learn something from it? Do I have a new reference point empathetically when I'm connecting with another person? Then Og makes this statement. I saved it for a second because it can be a little bit hard to swallow when we're in one of those places where man or deed offends us as to bring forth our tears or our cursing. This is what Og said. Truly, I know... Once I, I, I truly know, here we go. Will my concerns for this day not seem foolish 10 years hence? Isn't that interesting? 10 years hence. Why should I permit the petty happenings of the day to disturb me? What can take place before the sun sets, which will not seem insignificant in the river of centuries? Sometimes we get so worked up over one situation or one Zoom call we need to have or one phone call that needs to happen. Let's chill out just a little bit because 10 years hence, that moment is probably going to be insignificant. Wow. Then he ends with this. And so long as I can laugh, never will I be poor. This, then, is one of nature's greatest gifts, and I will waste it no more. Only with laughter and happiness can I truly become a success. Just pause for a moment. Introspection. Have have any of us been waiting on or looking for someone else to help us be happy? (laughs) Scroll 6 tells us we make our own weather. It's our choice. And here, Og is telling us, it again is our choice. Now, he starts this with some interesting thoughts, I think. He says, I will smile. Here's the real reason. And my digestion will improve. I will chuckle and my burdens will be lightened. I will laugh and my life will be lengthened. For this is the greatest secret of long life. And now it is mine. Let's take a look at this piece. I get calls from clients who are really having one of those moments. We call them SOSs. When we have someone engaged, we give them permission to send a text. This is an SOS, and we jump back on. These are things that are happening in the moment. We want to address them while they are acute. And sometimes they're so traumatic that our Sympathetic nervous system has already released the cortisol. Our amygdala, our fight or flight center, has already been activated and shut down the energy-rich parts of our brain, starting with our prefrontal cortex, our empathy, our practical judgment, our common sense. Sometimes it's hard for me. And sometimes it's going to be hard for you if you have someone that looks to you as a mentor or as a parent to be able to provide them with clear thinking when they are not in a position to be able to hear it. Not that I don't want to. Their mind is just shut down. They're impaired. And sometimes I will, as I would encourage you to, ask them to do two things. One, go find someone to serve. That gets us outside of ourselves. And two, go watch a funny movie. Go watch something that makes you laugh till your fingernails tickle, tingle. Excuse me. I just, it's cathartic. Laughter is cleansing. When we get into this space of 
cortisol surge or we activate our amygdala and it starts shutting down those energy rich parts of our brain, we truly are impaired. And it's not unlike going to a bar, having five whiskey sours and deciding I want to be sober and drive home. No, time out. They tell us it takes about two hours for that alcohol from one drink to burn off the body. There's five, that's 10 hours. That's a decreased amount of impairment. At some point you cross sobriety so you could actually drive, right? But think about that. Ah, I'm in a space where I'm just emotionally paralyzed. This is not the time to drive into life, step into life, excuse me, and try to drive it. It's time to step back and look at someone I can serve, get outside myself, and find something that helps me laugh because it is cathartic, it is cleansing, it helps speed up a little bit that process of overcoming the impairment. This is very real physiological reactions in the body when we're in this space. Now we can always go, ooh, not going there today. I'm going to stay in creation. And we look for inspired ideas and we act on them. And we keep laughter and humor in our lives all the time. Impossible. There are going to be times when we are just slapped. And it's going to bring our tears or our cursing. And when that happens, we're going to be a little bit impaired. Turn to loving someone and something that causes you to laugh. Let laughter serve you. It is the greatest medicine we can take in a time of darkness. Laughter. Just happiness. Because without it, we will not be successful. So let's make this the week. I serve and I laugh. I serve and I laugh. I serve and I laugh. Take scroll seven. Best time to read scroll seven is just before you go to bed at night. Reflecting on the day so you can sleep peacefully and wake up in the morning a little bit more refreshed. Maybe read it again and then take on your day. Let's make this the week of putting everything in its proper perspective. And if I may take you to that page. I closed my book. Let me open it again. And with my laughter, all things will be reduced to their proper size. I will laugh in my failures and they will vanish in clouds of dreams. I will laugh at my successes and they will shrink to their true value. I will laugh at evil and it will be untasted. I will laugh at goodness and it will thrive and abound. Each day will be triumphant only, only when my smiles bring forth smiles from others. And this I do in selfishness. For the, those on whom I frown are those who purchase not my goods. I will laugh at the world. Let's have some fun this week with this one. Especially if you felt a little darkness lately in your life. Have some fun with this. Thanks, everybody. Have a blessed week.